This is the Lock Begin Lawyer, and last week I received two emails asking me about the Master Lock Model 176 Magnum. Both of those emails said, among other things, that they couldn't fit a shim in the bottom to bypass it. Naturally, I was curious because I haven't really paid much attention to the model since I featured it seven years ago. So, I decided to compare the model that I bought all the way back then with this one, which I just bought yesterday. Now, regular viewers will know that the old version can be bypassed very quickly using something like this notch decoder, which I sell over on covertinstruments.com. You can either get it as a standalone tool or as part of the covert companion. It's currently locked. We just slip the decoder between the lock body and a code wheel and push down on the shackle, down on the shim, and it pops right open. Let's do that one more time. You can see this slips in very easily. Push down on the shackle, down on the shim, and it's open. Now we can do the same thing on the new version, which does not have the dust cover broken off, currently locked. And right away I can tell that's a lot tighter. I have to push it in very carefully and there's barely enough room for this six thousandths of an inch thick piece of metal. I think I have it in position though, so let's push down on the shackle, down on the shim, and we can get it open. And it's actually pretty tough to pull out. Let's do that one more time. Like I said, it's a little bit difficult to get in, but it does work. Clearly, Master Lock seems to have tightened up the tolerances on the bottom, which is a very welcome change. But that needs to be put in perspective. Let's say that shimming in this way was completely fixed. The lock is still vulnerable to wrapping and picking on this little cylinder on the side. And oddly, even though they're closing the door on shimming, the window's been left wide open. The tolerances might be very tight on the side of the code wheel, but if we look carefully at the top, we can see there is a massive gap. And I can use that gap just as easily as I can use the gap on the side. I will need a different tool, and what I did was take the medium hook from the Genesis set and put a bend in it. We're going to use that to lift up the locking bar. You can see just as easily we can open it up. Let's do that one more time. Okay, folks, it looks like there was a minor change, but it does little to overcome the potent and fundamental flaws in the design. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.